and there goes deception. And I feel the the jealousy is a deception. Now, is there someone giving someone a reason to deceive? I mean, to be jealous, free yourself. I think this could be, I really feel this is a needing to let go. Someone needs to heal some of that um, energy within. Yeah, like go control issues. It's a controlling thing. You know how you feel about each other. There are obviously feelings, but it's triggering wounds and vulnerability. Um, I say this all the time, Leo. Your energy, Leo energy has a way, I think people have to understand how elements operate within ourselves and how um, it also, um, I don't want to say triggers, but either enhances or replicates or matches someone else's energy. And if someone has low shadows, your element is going to make them operate in a certain matter. And in this case, Leo's, your energies always make people really get in their feels. It's a lot about ego, um, which is why some of you may feel like, why am I always going through the same thing? Like, why can I just meet? And it has a lot to do with your energy. So here, someone has to be keep an open mind. I think both of you are in this place and make the effort. I also think both of you are still willing, um, despite the craziness and the push and pull of this relationship because that's what it feels like. So let's get into this read. My Leo's always giving me these interesting reads. What do we got for Leo? Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna take that, hold on. And of course, of course, Leo's, of course it's you. Look at you right here, strength card. Let me make sure nothing else fell. Yeah. And the, and, it, and another card from another deck fell out too while all of those, those energies shoot out, which is time, cycles, infinity. So I think this feels like a cycle. It's a repeating cycle. So we're gonna keep these. Let's see what's on the bottom. Perspective, hanged man. So a lot of you are in the space of needing to gain perspective. We do have the magician here. There's in this deck is called awareness. And I think I, that's the energy I do feel that someone actually knows this is an issue. They're, they're learning. I sneeze. I always say there's truth when I sneeze in my readings, but there you go. This is it. There's awareness of ego. There's awareness of a shadow side. This is your element. This is why I say you're a reflection. There's something here that's being mirrored. Emotional withdrawal. It will make someone very emotional and reject. So vulnerability makes this person reject the relationship. Of course, in despair, heartache and loss. So this person is really upset. Five of cups. So I feel this is mutual one more than the other clearly spirit is saying time um but this is very this is to me feels like a high and low emotional world when there's obviously control there's emotions there's a mask there's a lot going on here leos here we're on this awareness why the magician i really feel this is the awareness of it Okay, we're on the magician. So, nine of pentacles. This tells me there is aware an awareness of the mass. So someone knows someone does not like to be taken down from this nine of pentacles energy. And from the outside, they are showing themselves being stable, you know, that they got it together. It's a sense of control they have on their own. But on the inside, I do feel this person isn't, you know. I think there's an awareness also coming across i'm going to get more on this nine of pentacles ace of pentacles and the night and the nine of swords with the tower so again this is a form of stability they fear rejection they also didn't know that they would meet someone that 
would be of a match to them. Yeah, I'm just, I'm with this Nine of Swords. I'm not, I'm not getting the best energy. I just think this is what this person shifts their focus to. So let's see this, this strength card. This is where the power, the power card here. Is. I know this is where the issues are. Getting more of this energy for strength, please. Why the strength card? Oh, that's too much. The Six of Swords. Okay, on the Strength card. And the Six of Wands. So strong Leo energy. Two Sixes. This needing to, to, to balance out. I don't do reversals, but Six of Wands is your energy to Leo. And Six of Wands in reverse is... Um, either way, it's, there's a need for some level of validation. It could be very egotistical. Um, so they just walk away, six of swords. This is them. Uh, I feel it, it feels like an assumption of like, I'm, I'm okay. I got it together. And there you go. Wheel of fortune and the strength. And there goes the devil. So again, this is, it's, it's a pattern, right? And time is an issue here. So if I read these in reverse, obviously these wouldn't be good, great energies either way. And I, I know since they're coming up, cause I don't need to do reversals. But again, it's a it's an ego trip here. Validation, whatever. It's a person who likes clout and chase. I'm gonna pull some. Let's see what the interference energy is. You want this interference energy? You got to be careful to match that kind of energy, Leos, because that's a mirror. Everything in life is a mirror, right? Receptive. Yep. Vulnerability. There you go. Their inability to be receptive. They don't like to be vulnerable. Despair. They're falling apart, hoping, sinking. There goes the patterns. I told you this is like a repeated pattern. Past life karmic lessons, repeated patterns, deja vu, and then memories, bittersweet dwelling reminiscing so this is kind of a pattern this person falls in and it has a lot to do with not wanting to show vulnerability that's why this feels like more of the mask that we see here with the deception and for to you or to whoever the viewer is because i feel i might get cross watchers here they show you that they've got it together they moved on but inside there's a lot of this heartache here because we have despair. I mean, clearly five, three of that's, that's a definite here. Three of swords with the five of cups. There's definitely despair. There's an emotional withdrawal. Bottom of the deck is tension, turbulence, argument, stress. So this person definitely is stressed out. Okay, we're in emotional withdrawal by the eight of cups. Six of pentacles. So this could be an energy of giving other people attention again i think is the jealousy so some of you may not it's a blockage right always thinking that there's someone else now if if there is an engagement of other connections and i will say this i'm going to point this out this can feel like an energy because we do have the three of pentacles in the bottom so this could be that you can be talking to other people or i have also i feel this energy of um, exes or people that they've engaged in relationships with maybe not weren't anything fully committed but doors are still open give me more on this three of swords which causes a trigger energy give me more on this three of swords eight of pentacles five of swords so I feel like with, it, with this five of swords in the bottom, it's almost like, oh my God, it's such a mask. It's like they're willing to take their losses. And again, it's that shifting focus. So they're focusing on probably 
other things in their life, distractions. It feels like distractions to not think about the, you know, the heartache and the loss, give me more on this and the despair. So give me more of this eight of pentacles. King of Pentacles, again, finances. So yeah, this person just focuses on, they just distract themselves. This is a form of control. This is definitely a form of control, but yet they're, they are experiencing upset, emotional upset here. Here we're on this Five of Cups. And they don't want to admit it. So there's a lot of ego here, a lot, a lot of ego. Eight of Wands. Yeah, there's no forward mu movement. And there, the truth is they do want to talk. Give me more of this Five of Cups. King of Pentacles again and Justice. So, and then the Nine of Wands. So this person is in the, in the um, defense I think um, they go into this victim mindset because justice is here. So they feel unfair treatment. Someone here feels unfair treatment. Um, again, a lot of pentacles here. So feeling good. There's a definitely a sense of like, I'm doing me, right? Um, I'm focusing on myself. But I really think that's the mask here. Um, I'm going to clarify this. This Ace of Swords keeps talking, showing up. Um, I'm going to mention it because it seems like you guys will have a conversation. I feel like, and the problem is it's coming up as an Ace of Swords. So it's not going to be like a loving, emotional conversation. It's kind of still going to feel, still going to make you feel like they're not interested. Okay, I'm on this mask. Why the deception? Yes, the moon. And there goes, the, I saw this so many times, the Ten of Wands during meditation. So... The mask is their emotions. They're, it, there's so much about them that is they've suppressed. This is a person with a lot of suppressed emotions. I'm gonna get a clarifier of the moon. Issues, this could be deep wounded issues. Four of Swords, okay, we're on the moon. You know, this is something they probably experience alone. They know they, they cause, they're used to being by themselves, so it's easier. Six of Wands, there you go, Six of Wands again. So this is part of their ego. Um, and I feel like they, this is a person who likes to be chased because this is why they, they they stay silent. So they stay silent and shift their energy, but at the same time, I feel like it's with an intention of some attention. So yeah, for some attention, judgment and the star. This person um, seeks some level. Uh, it, not that it's wrong to hold yourself in high regard, but this is a person who's a bit over the top. It's almost a little bit elusive, I feel, here. So let, I'm going to pull these codependent energies because I do feel there's some really deep issues here with this person's, with this moon and this mask. So what do we got? Shame. You are not flawed. You are so worthy of love and belonging. Yeah. This is what it is. This person needs to love themselves more. And the jealousy is feeling flawed. So I do feel that they have this mask of star energy. But yet within themselves, there's an energy of not feeling worthy. So they do what they do. And victim mentality. The universe wants what's best for you not the worst change your perspective yep and where do we have here yep perspective in the world in order for things to change you've got hanged man the world and ten of cups yep and death card that means you've got to change and there goes fire sign so it could be you leos but someone's got to change here so you could be dealing with another leo aries leo sag you got aquarius here strong taurus energy but definitely 
this is definitely um a way to control things oh god i just dropped a bunch of cards let's see what the lessons are guilt again we have shame guys guilt shame and deep remorse over past actions and words are hindering the situation that it's so deep whatever they are experiencing is shame and they don't feel worthy of love so this is what's really affecting this connection and sacred space time out clear your energy space brings clarity you know how we got this card sacred space time so this is again about time so this is what i'm getting here from this time card a lot of you this is going to go for as long because we do have the deja vu repeated patterns so this is a push and pull connection where this happens all the time you guys might some of you may go have already gone through a few cycles of this or may still need to go through a few cycles of this to understand what's really happening here because it feels like um their victim mentality and their shame game is pretty good in terms of what they see so what they show that's why the mask here is so heavy what you see is a person who's got it together but i i do feel some manipulation here and this really feels like it's a way to get someone to chase so space will give clarity and some of you will come to the understanding that this person will always need to be in control and there's nothing you can do about that way of living or being so let's see what the guidance is for you leos balance you are currently out of balance your yin and yang energy needs your loving care and attention you have been giving too much to your environment and ignoring your own needs take this time to regain your strength so time again to me is the word here and i think um we do have the strength card a few times so this is a mirroring energy like i said earlier so if they're mirroring something about you that needs to be worked on as well because if this person has you in this push and pull leo then there's something within yourself that is allowing the push and pull so what is it that what is it what is this reflection that needs to be worked on on yourself and that to me is the biggest message here so I love you, Leos. Please like, share, subscribe.